Welcome to Ryan's Rock Show. My name is Ryan. I'm the host of the program. It's our Warped Tour Gone Wild edition of Ryan's Rock Show. And today we're going to be speaking to a band from Indianapolis, Indiana. They're called Haste the Day. But first, your weekly essential where we play a band that you need to know if you don't know them already. This band is called Circa Survive, and you're listening to Ryan's Rock Show. Circa Survive for your weekly essential. Be sure to send us your comments, your questions, and or your suggestions to us at ryansrockshow.com. My cameraman Juice and I recently went to Pomona, California to catch day one of the Warp Tour. We got to sit down with a band called Haste the Day, and this is what happened. And here's the band right here. Oh, oh yeah. What up, yeah. Ron? Yeah. All right, guys. I have to ask you something. Who do you think has hotter chick, Ozfest or the Warp Tour? I'm gonna say Warp Tour. I think Ozfest is a, uh, you know, an older, you know, more older generation. So it's, it's, yeah. it's for, for the most part. So I mean, if I have to answer that question yeah. honestly, I'd say Warp Tour. I would say I would say so too. I think I'm not really into the gothic chicks myself, you know. But um, mm-hmm. I take the emo girls, although they're like 13. So that's, that, that's the thing. That's man. a problem. Yeah. That is definitely a problem. It is. It We're than my sister, man. You know I think that when I have a daughter, if I have a daughter ever, I'm not gonna let her wear makeup until she's like, twenty, you know, twenty-three. <laughs> I would yeah. agree with that. I would see girls and they look like they're like super old, yeah. but they're like thirteen, dude. Yeah. yeah, kids anymore. They just look older and older. I know it's freaking retarded, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it it's crazy, man. Yeah. So, so you guys are from Indianapolis, mm-hmm. home of the Colts. Yeah. Home of the Colts. Go that's Colts. that's real. Saw right. Tony Dungy today riding his bicycle. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Colts coach. Col- Colts coach. No, so where, where, his where was this at? Uh, it was in Indianapolis on the on the Mo- It's a bicycle trail in Monon Trail. Uh-huh. And I was trucking on my bike. You know, just going. He was trucking on his bike going the other way. And then he was immediately followed by a midget. <laughs> <laughs> a little person. That's crazy, dude. I mean, a little person. A little person, a midget. There, yeah. It's cool. We're, I don't know we're not politically correct on this show. It doesn't really matter. What is the politically correct? I don't even know what it is. What do they, what do they want to be? I think a little person. I think is it. Little persons? A normal human being, maybe? Have you guys ever seen a hot midget? No. I no. Don't see <laughs> I don't see a lot of midgets. midgets. Oh yeah. Or Wee little man. people. Wee I mean, little talk. people. Who's Who's that? That? Wee man on Jackass. Uh, <laughs> I. Jackass, the show Jackass. I know Jackass. Knoxville. Wee Man's like, yeah, Vin short. Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Wee Man's hot. You guys ever come to Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah. We play the Key, the key, key Club, Club, Troubadour, Whiskey, whiskey a Go Go, and uh, Henry Fonda. Henry Fonda. Fonda oh, you, Avalon, guys have, you guys have played all freaking over, man. Yeah. yeah. That's nuts, Get dude. Program. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Well, this is the first day of the Warp Tour. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you guys think of it now? It's, it's crazy. Awesome. It's a big old party. Definitely it's something to get used to. Yeah. It's really hot. And sweaty. I want a shower. I got to show you guys something. Can you hold this mic right here? Yeah, I'd love. To. I got to show you I'm my uh, my rash today. Oh wow! Hey. But this is from going out and interviewing random hot chicks. No way. Did yeah, you like dude. spray some kind of venom on you or something? Dude, I have no idea, but it's like I'm starting Blister. to break out on my chest too. Oh man, they're spraying venom on you, man. You gotta Dude, be careful with these hot girls, man. <laughs> what happened? I, I honestly, I really don't know. Is it hurt? Nervous reaction. It kind of like, it burns. <laughs> it burns a little bit. <laughs> it burns, you know, like seriously. I'm it's thinking of... Some kind of like heat uh, Yeah, because I'm thinking about getting like uh, the first aid crew over and like patching me up. Yeah. Or getting that one blonde chick to lather me down with some aloe vera. Yeah. <laughs> wherever, wherever she's at. I would get some attention. Alright, I know we can get it all on video. Yeah. But I hear this rumor that you guys are a um, Christian band. Yeah. Would you call yourself a Christian band? Yeah. We're all Christians. We all have uh-huh. a very strong faith base uh, bringing up and, and just what we believe. So we don't like to label ourselves as a Christian band per se, but just as, as individuals we are. So it comes through in our music and we like to share about it from the stage. So I guess some people would say that, well, you're a Christian band. Yeah. So yeah, Whatever. yeah. I get either way. I think people take that the wrong way. If they're, if they're not Christians, what if someone's like, you know, a different religion? They're usually really respectful, man. Like, really? A lot of people who aren't Christians come up to me and they say, dude, I'm not a Christian, but I really respect that you guys are standing for something. Yeah. And that's really cool. I've never met a Christian playing heavy metal, and, you know, it's awesome. So. It's, there's like this Christian trend going on with Dead Poetic and um, what are those other? Under Oath. Under Oath, yeah. Like Solid State, all those bands practically yeah. are like, which is kind of cool, you know? Yeah. Which, but um, 
I just had a brain fart. That's cool. Like, we I can smell it. Fart all the time. Really? Dude, that's that disgusting. Is smelly, I know. Dude. Wait, you guys going to Ventura next, right? Yeah. Are you on the entire tour? First half. Yeah. First month. And then what are you guys doing after that? We are going to go home for a little bit, chill. Chill in Indianapolis. Ride a little bit. Ride a little bit. Do a hunting tour. Yeah. Who you guys, who's going to open? We don't know yet. yet. We're not sure. We haven't got it all figured out yet, but we're going to do that headlining run, and then uh, we'll go out with Azalea Dying in, in November. Can you say that again? They're on the second month of the uh, Warp Tour, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to take a break. We're going to play a song by Haste the Day. It's the day we're here on location in Pomona, California. As you can tell, everything is spontaneous, and our show is completely <laughs> retarded. <laughs> but we fit right in. I it's know. Nuts. Yeah. It's nuts, man. But is that even yours? No. He's eating. He's eating this food that's not even his. He's like gum, gum, gum soup. That's wow. It's gumball good. soup. That's kind of nasty, but do what you got to do. Oh, doubles. Today was so freaking hot. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And I caught the last bit of your guys' set, and it was cool. pretty cool. I was, but I was like a gazillion yards away. You know, probably from here to like that freaking Hurley bus, whatever you want to call oh, it. Wow. Yeah. Trailer. I know, dude. So I could see you guys. You're like in the mosh pit, then. We had a huge crowd. Just nuts. <laughs> it really was. We were by the MySpace booth. Everyone was there. Well, yeah, I don't even know what they were doing. They were probably playing our set. Oh yeah? yeah, probably. probably. So they're probably in the no tent gonna miss our set. Yeah. Not a warp tour. No one's gonna I miss your set, play. dude. They're playing our set on the main stage on the video. Hell yeah, that's great. <laughs> 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 that's awesome, man. Yeah. You guys like the food here? Have you guys eaten? Yeah. 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 I only had lunch. Catering. We're missing uh, dinner, as you know, for this stupid interview. I know <laughs> for this stupid <laughs> Ryan's Rock Show interview. Yeah. I don't blame you. No, no, but uh, the lunch was amazing. Yeah, yeah. it was absolutely yeah. amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Breakfast was amazing. Missed it. Hook you up with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. You you the band, yeah. Is awesome. That's really good. Yeah. Do we had. Do you understand? Understand. Yeah. We had the lunch, and the lunch was pretty good. And then we realized that we needed those little like ticket things to get the the rest of it. But no, we're just gonna go back and snag it again. No yeah. one really cares. Go yeah. for it. And that's the thing. Yeah. That's the relax, relax, man. Relax. It is. It is man. Have fun. It's very just like be yeah. real. Just be yourself. Just go and you do it. You know? <laughs> exactly, man. Oh, it's, get it's, yeah, and and they're uh, yeah. they're moving that little so climber thing no right behind us. You don't get to. Do I that. thought those were real. I thought those were real too before our, like they started moving the palm trees. <laughs> so is that one over there, Trump too? I thought that gorilla was real. <laughs> I don't know, but I wanted to climb that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn! Woo -woo. Way to go, guys! Yeah, you guys really screwed up this time. <laughs> They're so Can't annoyed. Wait for the boss right to come now. back. That's yeah. not... What's your favorite city to tour at, guys? City. San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego, San Diego sure, yeah. Why San Diego? What's so fun about San Diego? What a great, huge music, music scene. Friends. Right? Yeah. A lot of great friends. A lot of great friends. Hi, chicks. Yeah. Well, just My girlfriend's from here, so she's always there. So I, she is oh, so yeah? hot. And I usually Where's your girlfriend at? She's, she's walking around her she colorful dress. She's my shoulder. Just kidding. She's not that hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's not that yeah. hot. She signed your shoulder? Yeah. Why did she sign your shoulder? She's just real she's famous. Nuts. She's really nuts. She's way more spontaneous than this rock show. Really? Yeah, but what does she do that's so spontaneous? Signing his arm. Yes, I think she got my neck somewhere too. Yeah. I don't even that's know how to explain. Dude. I don't that's think hot. there's much to, I don't think like there's really a good way to explain. I mean, she's wonderful to me. But she's... You guys don't have a picture of her? What's that? Let's see this chick. Well, there's... <laughs> There's a funny one of us at the Grand Canyon. Can you zoom in? I'll find one. <laughs> you guys go ahead and do your interview. Well, this is the interview. <laughs> this is what we do. This is what Ryan's Rock Show is all about, dude. Exactly, dude. Let's see what I got on. I'm still on my show clothes, man. That's how hard I'm working today. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Look how dirty I am yeah. from all like the, the racetrack and everything. Yeah. It's kind of nasty. It is nasty. It's nasty. That whole area. That is warp tour. Yeah, it's surrounded by a big circle of dirt. Yeah, it just blows everywhere. Yeah, it's it's freaking disgusting, dude. Yeah, yeah. pretty ridiculous. Yeah. It is like I used to you know I used to go to college right across the street. Oh yeah, and um, they used to have this. It's like a racetrack, and every weekend they would do like their drag races and stuff. And it was it was so freaking loud, and like my dorm room would shake. No, yeah, it was nuts, that man. Sucks. 
So let's see this. All right, she's kind of cute. She's got beautiful eyes. She's beautiful. Eyes. Let me see. She's got. Yeah, she's got the spider eyes thing going with her. Uh, with her. Uh, yeah. her spider eyes. <laughs> with her mascara. But um, yeah, she's cute, dude. I, I give you props. That one, I give you. I give you an eight on that. I give her. Eleven. An eleven out of ten. Eleven. eleven out of ten. Eleven out of ten. What's her name? Heather. Heather. All right. I hope she's listening to Ryan's rock show. Oh, I hope so. All right. Seriously. Well, we gotta take a commercial break. We'll be back with hates today on Ryan's rock show. Booyah! Oh yeah. <laughs> this is what sex is like in an ordinary condom. This is what sex is like in a new Durex condom. Been missing. Set yourself free with the most exciting condoms ever made. New Durex condoms for ultimate sensitivity. Now safe sex doesn't have to feel that way. Set yourself free with new Durex condoms. Durex. Durex. Dude, have you ever heard of High Times Magazine? Sure, dude, it's the best. Well, High Times is having a radical 25th anniversary party. No way, can I go? Maybe. They're having a contest. All you have to do is go to their website, www.hightimes.com, and you can find out how you can win a trip to New York to party with the High Times crew. Wow, High Times, how can this ad even be on the radio? Dude, I don't know. Void were prohibitive, which may be practically everywhere. No purchase necessary. However, we feel it would be a splendid idea to buy High Times Magazine regardless. Must be 18 years of age or older and a citizen of the planet. You know, you know what I mean? You guys upsetting them? What's up, saying? I was over in line and uh, I got the chicken and I wanted the steak, but they didn't have it. And then as soon as they, they she put the chicken on my plate, they put a new thing of steak in there. I was like, oh, I'll take the steak instead. They wouldn't let me do it. What the heck? What? Dude? Some of those girls, like, some of the girls are like, like, crazy. I started, I started a riot. Oh, yeah, this has got to be on the segment. <laughs> That's crazy. Are you serious? Those yeah, chicks are crazy, upset. dude. She like kicked me out. She's just doing her job, but it's you know. Well, she's not doing her job. Yeah, though. she's not doing a good job. She's not making everybody happy. No, she's not. Everybody you know, needs like to be happy. Well, today at lunch I went up and I was grabbing bread for oh, sandwiches, man. and I grabbed two pieces. I bet two plates between my two hands. I put two pieces here, two pieces there, and the girl turned around while I was doing it, and she was like, "Oh, you're not supposed to make two sandwiches." I was like, "Oh, well, what should I do?" And she was like really irritated. She's like, "Well." I can't take those back now, so I guess you'll just have two sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, crap. That oh, sucks. that's crazy, yeah. man. Yep. Attitude. But hope she's deal- watching or listening to this. You know, I hope she's listening to. You know what? They're dealing with lots of like snooty, egotistical artists all day, like myself. And there you, go. you know, they've got, <laughs> of course, they've got a bit of an attitude. They have to to keep up with us. So. Yeah, it's sense. cool. Ah, I mean, it's you cool. Can't, like disrespect someone for doing their job. I'm, I don't care. I think you got what you deserved. <laughs> hey, so did you, Jason. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to. I came by it quite honestly. You know, uh, yeah. I wasn't trying to, to to cheat them out of like a couple pieces. That of I find hard. To I was. They offered me stuff, and I took the whoa. What's going on over here? The whopping the good the taste from the water bottle. bottle. He whopped me on the. Is floor. that what you guys do, like on tour? Yeah. There's a you guys lot are, of we, kind of, we get kind of bored, and we get kind of. I don't know. No, Jason, not... <laughs> you guys seem really close to each other. Really? Is that a Sitting on one bench is fine. Yeah, we all grew up together. We really don't have any choice but to be close to each other right now. Yeah. That's... Steve, we're babysitting Steven, but the rest of us all, we all grew up together. <laughs> but yeah, how old are you guys? We're, so guys we're babysitting this guy. Yeah. That's the only reason he's vocalist of the band. The boy's 17 years old. Actually. Are you really 17? Almost. I would believe it. He's just 20. 20? 20. How old are you? 27. He, he tries to say that every time he's 20. Um, so are you saying that I look like... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying that, oh. I, are you saying that I look like I'm 17 years old? You could pass, dude. You could pass. <laughs> <laughs> Bogus. <laughs> <laughs> this interview's over. 20, 23. I'm no, I'm joking. just joking. People say no, that I look like I'm 30. Do they really? No. No, <laughs> no that's me. It's all right. That's I look like I'm 12, man. Uh, you know what? You want to hear a story? How old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Oh, I thought you were like 12 or 13. Yeah, I, I didn't start puberty until I was like 18. So seriously, don't feel bad. It's like, <laughs> don't feel bad. I'm, I'm you'll get your puberty. It's going to be a big change and you're going to need me to talk to you about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be different. It's a big change, but we'll be there for you. Yeah. Well, well, you I can't be there. Oh, do you? You're going to find this hard to believe, but I'm 32. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. 32. Born in 62. <laughs> 
62. All right, whatever. And what about you? I'm 23. You're 20. You guys are all like kids now. <laughs> We're all kids except for me. Except for you. You're like I'm the old guy. You're the oldest. Yeah. Is that the quickest addition you could do? In You'd be life? like 55. That's, 45. Like, that's me on quick. That's me on quick, and I don't think I'm right. Hey, dude. What year would I be born in? Then? Quick. 62. No, if I was 32. Oh, 32. 75. You know who you remind wow. me of? Jeez, Jason, cool. go back to school! Nerd! <laughs> you, kind of, yeah. you kind of remind me of the uh, the guitarist for the use. All that ugly dude. He's <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 really tall. Yeah, yeah. His knees kind of bent backwards. It's kind of like a full mango. The, the qu I mean, I'm just insulting everybody today, no, no, man. He's got a really long neck, really, no, really no, no. long. Oh, Mike, he's he's no, we don't, we don't know what he does. We don't know what the guy in the U's looks like. We know what Michael looks like. Yeah, Michael's yeah. not really yeah. uncomfortable. If, if, like. if, if the guy in the U's looks anything like Michael, he's probably about 100 feet tall. Are you really that tall? No, yeah, he's stand up. He's a stand up, dude. He's stand up. Seven one. Stand up. Oh my god. No. He's seven one. Oh shit. You just hit his head on the top of the tent. Well, we want to thank the guys in Haste of the Day for sitting down with us and talking at the Warp Tour. We know it was blistering hot as hell, and it was right before their dinner, so we really appreciate them chatting with us for a little bit. So we leave you this week shining some limelight on the band. They're from Southern California. They're also on the Warp Tour this year. They're called the Fabulous Rudies. We'll see you next week on Ryan's Rock Show. Bye, everybody. Fast and furious, alarmingly amazing. Brendan is like cattle. Saddle up, we won this battle. Rudy's in your mind. It's blasphemy to say that we won't go all the way because we're right here to stay. When you feel